course, but I know a lot of residents choose to watch this from home in the comfort of their PJs, and that's okay too. So we'll uh, have a couple announcements, and then we'll do some updates uh, from the community. So we'll go ahead and start with any. I know Chris is actually on his way uh, to spend Thanksgiving with his family. So yes, Ms. Norma Jean, any announcements that we have from our residents?
for the 2024 tax credit. Couple updates from IHS. Um, they want to remind you that they do have assistance for your loved one or your pet in the absence, in your absence. Uh, and they want you to fill out your emergency paperwork for IHS to be able to help you. The paperwork can be found in the IHS office, north and south desks, and I wanted Christine here to kind of speak a little bit on that, because I know there's been a couple different emergency requests, so we wanted to be able to clarify. Good morning, I'm Christine with Innovative Health Services. So the paperwork that we have is very simple. It just basically will tell us in your absence, if you have a pet at home or a loved one at home, how can we help you? What can we do for that person? So again, if you're at the emergency room, something happens, we can step in, we can provide care for your, you know, your cat, your dog, your husband, your wife. Without this piece of paper though, we cannot enter your home and we will have no direction. Especially if you are unable to give us that direction, again, in event of an emergency. So if you would be so kind to fill this piece of paper out for us and leave it with us, it sits in a file, they're not charged unless we actually provide the service. It just stays in our office under a lock and key. So if you have any questions, you can always either ask me now or send somebody to my office if you wanna talk about it or if you wanna fill the paperwork out. I think it would be advantageous for you guys to do it only because again, if you have you know, a loved one, a dog, a cat, anything that we can help you with, that's what we're here for. The past weekend, we had somebody that wanted our services and we couldn't provide it because we had no kind of paper, no legality for us to come into the home to be able to provide this. So again, if you have any questions, you can see me you know, later on after this if you like, but I will be leaving these papers at the North and South desk and they're always available in our office. Thank you. Thank you, Christine. So I know we talked about that a couple times in the past, but it's exactly that. It's almost a standing order for their services in the event you do end up in the hospital or something happens and enables them to go in and help you. And you've already handled all the paperwork in advance, so it's one less thing you have to worry about. So a little bit of updates from environmental services. Housekeeping will be providing your full service on Thanksgiving. Uh, please do email or call Evan if you don't want that. So whoever is scheduled for that day, um, he does want to go ahead and do those services. But if you don't want them, just call and let him know. A little bit of sales updates. Uh, we do actually have an open house today from one to three. Uh, they're going to be touring the sales office, South Models, Town Hall, and some of the village area. And again, they're gonna be doing a full open house with some uh, new prospects, and that's from one to three. Uh, we also, we had mentioned before, but Norma Jean is one of our new sales counselors, so uh, you'll be meeting her, a lot of our residents that spend time uh, with the sales and marketing, whether that's the ambassadors or the marketing committee, uh, you'll get some time to work with her. Okay, some updates from Ginger on activities. Avon uh, is Tuesday, November 21st, uh, 10 to 2, of course today, in the South Lobby area. Leonardo da Vinci is Wednesday, tomorrow the 22nd, from at three o'clock in Town Hall. We do have the Town Hall Christmas tree trimming Friday, November 24th at 11, and all are welcome to help decorate the trees. And worship services with Reverend Jim Roy is on Sunday, November 26th, and that will now be uh, in the Town Hall at 11 a.m. Uh, COVID updates, uh, none. So we're, we're sitting good there. We did want to give a little bit of updates on the food drive. Thank you to everyone who helped participate. The Countryside Baptist Church Food Pantry was appreciative of our donations. This is just a photo of the donations just from one uh, community. This was actually from our healthcare center, and we had some from north and south as well. So thank you again for everyone who helped contribute. Resident services, a little bit of updates from Kelly. Wanted to remember to update Kelly or Carol if your medical needs have changed. Again, reminder, Main Street Pharmacy is here every Wednesday in the Wellness Clinic from 10 to noon. Uh, there are still vaccines, so please see the pharmacist if you're interested. Uh, thank you again for attending the Fall Clinic. We will be holding those quarterly, so I heard it was a good event, had some good participation. It's very important that we help support you with that. Uh, falls can be very serious, so we will be having those quarterly. And the medical 
the tables have been updated with new information on providers and sheets. Uh, so please do see those and check those out. It's giving you additional resources um, for any of your needs. And of course, Kelly's always here if you need anything from President Services. A little bit of updates from Darwin and plant operations. He replaced two HVAC units in some apartments this last week. We repaired some faucets in the North Kitchen. Uh, Blue Team, as we probably all know, have started the flooring and demolition on the second floor and will begin the LVP, which is the laminate vinyl planking and carpet installation on third and second. We are continuing the tree trimming around the campus. You probably see them out there cutting and, and um, kind of cleaning up a lot of those areas. So we are continuing with that. And we do have our boom scheduled to be here the last week of November. So that was, again, the lift truck. Um, if you have any issues with hornet or wasp nest, coffee glass and eyes, any concerns, please do call maintenance at 332 so we can get you on the list to address those areas. Some updates from food and beverage. Dinner on the breezeway is gonna be the sh uh, steak and shrimp. That's on Friday the 24th and every other Friday. Your food and wine pairing is today uh, called Not Your Average Thanksgiving. Uh, please do make reservations just so they know how many are attending. Uh, Thanksgiving dinner is served during traditional holiday hours, midday meal only, no evening meal. Reservations in the North and South dining rooms, 11.45 to 1.30. Takeout from 11 to 11.30. We will have coffee available at the North and South. Uh, we do want to make sure you remind, uh, remember to make reservations for any guests. And just another reminder that the pub will not be open on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, please do see the North or South hostess to inquire about the availability of dinner uh, being delivered family style to your home for Thanksgiving. We can provide a warm meal to serve your family and friends. Chinese, we're Chinese. 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 <laughs> awesome. Chopsticks. That's, yeah, that's your Thanksgiving meal. <laughs> that's what you're getting. <laughs> Lo mein and chicken fried rice. <laughs> you get the points, take out. <laughs> oh. A little bit more, uh, we've mentioned this before, but we wanted to make sure that we continue discussing it. Um, we are rolling out the QR codes. Um, this is a continued effort for dining feedback. Um, they are available through the dining department and they are accessible for you to scan with your phone and give immediate and trackable feedback. Uh, you can't ask any of the servers or any of the team if you have any issues in accessing that but we continue to focus on our resident survey results and the feedback, and we want to make sure we are uh, consistently utilizing platforms of data collection and information. A little bit of update on the North Building and if the South Building, if you, if you care too much. Uh, fifth floor is a um, carpet and the LVP have been installed completely. Uh, they are pending some quarter round installation and paint touch up. So they're by no means completely completed. Uh, they just got the floors down. Fourth floor carpet and LVP uh, installed and completed. Again, pending the quarter round installation, painting and touch up. Third floor S-wing carpets are pending final installation. And then all areas, all other areas are completed. Again, pending that quarter round installation and painting touch up. Second floor, they started that demolition. Uh, R wing and M wing are completed and they're installing of the LVP carpets um, in the dining areas. They're next week, so they actually are going to cease work as of 12 p.m. tomorrow, uh, Wednesday. They will not work Thursday, they will not work Friday, and they won't be here on the weekend. They'll resolve um, all of the project on Monday. So the plan for next week is the fifth floor preliminary punch completion, fourth floor preliminary, not final, punch completion, third floor S-wing carpet completion, and then second floor R-wing and M-wing floating, R-wing and M-wing uh, installation, and R and M-wing LVP installation. And as well, uh, they plan to start the grand 
lobby, removing the wallpaper and painting. So um, after we get through Thanksgiving, we got a little bit more construction to, to look forward to in the North Building. So it will all look very lovely when it's done, but right now it is um, quite a disturbance, I don't think we all can admit. So just a little bit of updates from me, just reminding you, we're still waiting on everything finalized from corporate and ownership for budget and CapEx, so I will most certainly um, present that when I have that information. We have finalized the select services guide and we will get that out. Uh, and those will be effective February 1st. We have a 60 day notice to let you know that there will be some changes to those and we'll get that out to you. Uh, another reminder, um, I know Brent was here for many years and we usually hosted the character GPS. So I just wanted to remind you, we are hosting that um, on the 29th. Residents are welcome to attend. We do need you to RSVP with Ginger. There are limited spots. Uh, of course, they have their own um, certain uh, participants that will be attending and uh, due to occupancy and size. So it will be first come, first serve for our residents, but there will be a presentation, ceremony, and awards. So you'll see some of that information. Please do let Ginger know if you're interested. Again, like I mentioned, there will be no construction after Wednesday and routine will resume on Monday. We did want to announce that uh, Life Care Services, our company, has received the J.D. Power and Associates Award for five years in a row now. That has made us the first senior living community and company in order to do so. So that is absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. We're pretty proud of that. Um, again, we are the first senior living company to have received that from IL residents and um, for the first year, AL residents, and, uh, five years in a row. So that's something we're pretty proud of, and we'll be getting out a lot of the marketing collateral to uh, continue with our branding and um, getting that information out there. It's great PR, it's great information for our residents, for our families, and for our future residents. Uh, we did, I am working with uh, Miss Bobby and some of the design team. We recognize the beautiful blue carpet with the pink and um, green uh, couches and chairs it is not aesthetically pleasing. The new furniture has been ordered. It does not get here until about March or April. So we want to do something between now and April when the furniture arrives to where we're not looking at blue carpet and pink chairs. So we will be, I know, isn't that tragic? So, <laughs> we will be working on uh, ordering some professional style. Uh-oh, got a cell phone going. <laughs> that Mary Ellen? <laughs> so we uh, will be working on ordering some slip covers and some various ways to uh, address the, the temporary uh, situation before our real furniture, our beautiful furniture, arrives. Uh, if you have not seen it, there is an inspiration board in the North Building that shows a lot of the beautiful pieces that will uh, that we have ordered. So we know, we're aware, and we're working on some temporary solutions for the next couple of months where it's not such an eyesore. Okay, just a little bit. Um, as far as all of our directors are working on finalizing their action plans for the resident survey results, some were better than others. Um, of course, administration and finance do not have to do one because y'all just love them so much. But <laughs> we have a couple of our directors in our departments that have a little bit of improvement. So they have uh, submitted those to me and they will be rolling those out to their pertinent committees. So if it's food and beverage, they're gonna be working with dining committee. If it is, of course, Darwin and Plan Ops, they're going to be working with ground and maintenance. Uh, presenting those action plans, working with you, and um, rolling those out and implementing those. Again, I wanna be very clear that those surveys are not done in vain. We take them very seriously and we'll continue to focus and discuss them week to week. In response to some of that feedback, the first initial food and beverage was, um, it just statistically was one of the lowest scoring uh, departments uh, since then, 
we have worked with the team and we have purchased handhelds for our dining services. So we're waiting for those to get in, but um, those will actually be the handhelds with cases, so they can't destroy them, and they will be the handhelds that they will be taking your orders at your table. So there's no more of this scribbling on a piece of paper, going back and waiting in the kiosk in the back. Um, we should have had these implemented, and they might have been at some point, but a lot of our communities are already in the process of utilizing these handhelds at your table. So that's something additional that we're going to do that is just going to help with our meal service being more efficient. Uh, we also have a corporate training program called Pineapple Academy. It's a robust training program for senior, uh, seniors, for servers and the uh, food and beverage team. So that's also a corporate initiative that a lot of our communities uh, utilize that we'll also be working on and rolling out. So again, these are all strategies to address the food and beverage results and scoring. Uh, that we think will help improve uh, a lot of your feedback. So, um, reminder, Sherry's on PTO this uh, week. Her and uh, Betsy were at a corporate conference last week. And I really thought it was cool, but if you are really good at utilizing the Regency Oaks app, HR has created their first ever newsletter. It's on the Regency Oaks app under Human Resources and Information, and then Q4 Newsletter. And it is a full comprehensive employee engagement that goes over all their birthdays, all the events, and all the resources, all the things that we do for our team. So you can see there a lot of the different efforts, actions, and um, incentives and initiatives we do for employee engagement. I often have residents ask, how do you maintain, um, how do you obviously recruit new uh, associates, and how do you maintain and a lot of that information is there. It's a great newsletter. So if you uh, have an opportunity, please do check it out. Other than that, happy Thanksgiving. Gratitude is an inward feeling of kindness received. Thankfulness is a natural impulse to express that feeling. And Thanksgiving is following of that impulse. I'm thankful for all of you. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. So at this time, I will take any questions you have. Well, thank you. Any questions? Yes, Ms. Johanna? I don't know. Anybody? We'll figure it out. We're going to Google it. I'm so used to the acronym QR, I don't think I've put much thought into it. Thanks for stopping me. That's all right. Um, when you're okay, it is a machine readable code consisting of an array of black and white squares typically used for storing URLs. <laughs> what does Q stand for? Quite realistic. <laughs> Question responses. Question responses. There you go. Now I have homework, Ms. Joanna. <laughs> when we are tree trimming, are we doing anything about the pine trees that are all fallen and that look like a, 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 a drama history? <laughs> I do not believe so, but I'll reconfirm if they are addressing that area. People were trying to find a way to use the QR code link, uh, could use it on their computer. So we have added a banner at the top of each week in the Oaks newsletter. You just click on there, choose a location, you can go directly to the comments for dining. Thank you, Mary Ellen. Would you be able to ask dining if they could weekly update um, in the Regency Oaks app the week's menu? I mean, when I'm looking at it, you know, it has the 12 through the 18th and November 5 through 11. And a lot of us take our phone with us to look at the menu, and it would be helpful if this would be updated every week. I'm not sure who 
knows that. Absolutely. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, but you don't, I mean, you know, you have to slide down to find it in your, like, in your email. You can't just open oh, I up. I see what you mean, yeah. You know, the region code app, it's right there. Next question? Yes. I'm, I'm going to follow up on Joanna's comment. I wonder if you could, uh, there were an awful lot of uh, acronyms on, on some of the slides, and I didn't know what half of them were. So if you could, you know, if you're going to use that, that's fine, but when you're going over it, use, Absolutely. use all the words. I'll make sure to do that. Yes. LVT, LVP is laminate vinyl tile or plate. Luxury. Luxury. Luxury vinyl plate. Two things this morning. Uh, first, So you may or may not recall, but I actually mentioned that about a couple weeks ago, and I can most certainly mention it again. Um, however, it means nothing for us. Health Peak is a very, very large company that just merged with uh, another company to make it even larger now. Uh, the CCRCs are 9% of Health Peak's portfolio, and it doesn't mean anything for us. We will continue our operations and everything uh, as planned, like for services, is who I work for, and we're the management company. And, yep. I guess what I'm getting at is if you're 9% of their business, mm -hmm. how is that going to affect the money that flows up in terms of larger scale? There is no indication that there is any effect to us whatsoever. All it means is two companies with big pockets got together, and now they got bigger pockets. <laughs> But as far as the operations, there's, there's no effect to us. Yeah, let me do that. Yes, Ms. Ellen. I, I still would love to see movies on 732 on this wall. So Ginger, can you speak to that a little bit? So we're still working, we're still working on that um, corporate-wide. Um, 
we are working on it. We do have DVDs, but they're yeah. they're old. But they're they're old good. ones. Nothing current like we used to Put show some old on ones Netflix. On. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we'll do that. Yeah. It's my understanding it was a streaming issue from that platform that will no longer allow us to do that. So as a company, we're trying to figure out with all of our technology a workaround that's um, legal. We're able to do. I uh, come to the Tuesday talk whenever I can. Unfortunately, sometimes I have a doctor's appointment or I'm under the weather. Then I go to uh, YouTube at 7.32 and uh, try to listen to it. Lindsay, I'd like for you to personally listen to the last Tuesday talk, not this one, before. The volume was so low, I couldn't hear it. And many times the audio was so poor, I can't understand you. Could you see if the, you could do anything to try, to try to improve that, please? So we've been working on that. We've um, initiated a couple different interventions. As you can see, Ginger has a microphone attached to the iPad from that perspective. Um, and we've worked on a couple other items that we are doing. Uh, we do, of course, have the closed captioning and we do also put out the newsletter as a recap. Uh, Betsy puts that in all the boxes after Tuesday talk. So we'll continue to work um, with our IT department to see what else can be done on my end. Yes, Ginger. Thank you. We ordered a new stand and it should be here tomorrow because this part covers the speaker. So it'll be here tomorrow and hopefully the next Tuesday talk will be much better. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. We're continuing to work on that. Anything else? All right. Well, y'all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Happy Tuesday. Let me know if there's anything we can do for you. I appreciate this.